is emotional intelligence and why is it so important? I think emotional intelligence is one of the most critical factors um, that, that enhances leaders' effectiveness. So emotional intelligence is basically the ability to to recognize and identify the emotions that I'm feeling and that the people with whom I'm working are also feeling, and then to tailor my thoughts and behaviors according to the, that recognition of those emotions. So I'll give you a, a great example from work. I tend to be the kind of leader and manager who when someone does a good job, I wanna very publicly you know, recognize them and say thank you. But you know, over the you know, course of my experience, as a leader, I've realized not everybody wants that. Uh, in fact, it can be really difficult for people who don't like to be in the spotlight. So I always ask people when I'm working with like a new person on my team, you know, how do you best receive praise? Is it okay if I say it publicly? Um, and if there's someone who prefers to be more private to the degree that it's possible, I mean, obviously if they've done something amazing that we, we need to share because it's relevant to other people, I will share it, but I'll try not to put too much of the spotlight on them in public if that makes them uncomfortable. Um, you know, I try to respect how people how people best operate and do their best work. And I think it also has to do with, I mean, there's many components of emotional intelligence, but things like self-control, right? So if your boss comes into your office 3 p.m. on Friday and says, here's this massive project, we need it 9 a.m. Monday, my immediate reaction, I don't know about yours, is I might, you know, want to pick up something and throw it at them. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, I work so hard to be on schedule and I don't, you know, I don't want to work my weekend. Um, but I think emotional intelligence is kind of, pausing. It doesn't mean I don't feel like angry or frustrated, but it means I recognize those emotions and keep them in check and make sure that we're still operating in a way that's going to be productive and that I'm not communicating with them in, in some way that's going to really jeopardize our relationship in the long run. So I think it's critical for leaders to be able to, to read that in other people. And I think it's hard. It's easier said than done. It's something I, I still um, you know, think about probably on a daily basis. Like, did I handle that right? Was I like the right amount of supportive given the situation or, or could I have said that differently? Um, but I think ultimately that's how people make connections with you as a leader and human being. Uh, and you want to make sure those connections are as productive as possible.